Hello, I'm here to talk to you about hair grease in a bottle. I don't know if it can be classed as a hair grease, but I call it hair grease because of the texture, because of the... Okay! <laughs> and that product I'm going to be talking about today is the Cantu Tea Tree and Jojoba Hair and Scalp Oil. And the reason I'm going to be talking about it is because I believe this to be a hair grease. It's not marketed as a hair grease, it says hair and scalp oil. But it's more grease-like textured more than it is an oil. It turns into an oil at body temperature like a coconut oil would do. But we're going to get into that. This caught my eye because it says it's a hair oil, right? Because I was looking at the products inside, I was thinking hair grease in a bottle. How does this work? And it looks dainty. I like, I like that. I like the look. Let's talk about the pros first. So the pro is the bottle itself is cute. It makes it look more attractive, more appealing. It says it helps protect against breakage, conditions hair and scalp to encourage growth and it has a no drip formula. Now they're right about the no drip formula because sometimes I can't even get it to come out. I've warmed it up in my hands so as you can see now I've just squeezed it to the nozzle but in colder temperatures you'd have to kind of scoop it out. I know I said I was going to do the pros first and then the cons but this is kind of just meshing together. <laughs> It says formulated with shea butter, jojoba oil and tea tree oil to help repair split ends and stop breakage. Those are really good ingredients. But one thing I did notice, I know a lot of the products that they have don't contain mineral oils, petroleum. The first ingredient on this, ironically, like a hair grease, is petroleum. But where it says help repairs split ends, I don't agree because for me personally, split ends just need to be eliminated. However, this does not mean that this is not good for your ends of your hair. I think once you've got rid of the damage and you've applied it to the ends of your hair, it's an amazing sealant which can help prevent split ends. My experience, that's how hair grease has worked for me, hence allowing me to have less breakage and more length retention. Then it says the no drip formula is easy to apply. Uh, now yes and no. As I said, it's not easy in my experience to get it out of the applicator bottle you have to kind of warm it up and you have to you have to really shake it it needs to be a bit more liquefied maybe less petroleum there you go it's almost like an ointment and then when i rub it in there you go it smells absolutely lovely and as you can see i've still got that shine but it is non-greasy and non-sticky and non-tacky. By the way, guys, just to let you know, this video is not sponsored. I bought this with my own monies. <laughs> so let's, let's go on with the rest that it's saying, all right? So the benefits, it says, conditions and soothes scalp. Moisturizes dry, brittle hair, so it does moisturize and soothe the scalp. I can confirm. You only need a small amount as well, guys. I did overdo it at one point because I had to take off the lid, scoop it out, plonk it on my head and it made my hair look a bit oily. Nourishes roots to help encourage healthy hair growth. Now I explained this in my last video and I'm going to say it again because this video is just dedicated to this product. That's a bit of wordplay you got going on there Kansu. As you saw how I put it on my hair, you can't just leave it like that on your hair. You do have to massage it. Now this massage in motion, this is stimulating my hair follicles, right? So then what that in turn does is increase blood flow to that area, which then promotes healthy hair follicles and then hair growth. So yes, it does promote hair growth in that sense because of the way you have to apply it. Put a small amount into hair beginning at the roots and working down to the ends. I've only used this whilst my hair is in a protective style because something to put on my scalp. I have used it on my daughter's hair down the lengths of her hair. Her hair is a mixture of 4A, B and C. As soon as you put moisture on her hair, i.e. water, her hair will shrink up and dry up really quick. So then I have to seal it really quickly. When I've put this on her hair, it's a bit too light in the sense of she needs something heavier to weigh down and coat and seal her hair. Hair texture, the thicker, I don't necessarily think this is ideal because of how thin it is once you apply it as I just showed you on my hand I'm not opposed to using it on my hair but I do have my actual hair grease that I enjoy to use but for the scalp it's amazing afterwards when you put it on the scalp you don't feel that your hair is being clogged you don't feel it's just sitting on there okay so it says do not rinse says apply directly to roots for weaves, braids and extensions to help minimize dryness and itching. Now this is one thing I can say guys, it has definitely, definitely, definitely minimized the itching. 
Sometimes when I've had my hair in for it to sit, mm, <laughs> a protective style and I've wanted to put a product on my scalp, namely hair grease, especially like this one. It's too thick, it just sits on my hair, whereas this one, it dissolves. I don't necessarily have to use it daily because my hair feels moisturized and conditioned enough. So I use it about every three days or so. You don't need too much, meaning that it will last longer. It's very important, guys, to moisturize your hair when it's in a protective style. Otherwise, your hair is just not being protected from anything. You have to moisturize your hair, you have to seal your hair. Right, so the one thing I like about this, which I recently discovered, is that you can use it as a hot oil treatment. The hot oil treatments that I've seen for years, I remember even in the 90s, I used to see them on the counter, something like this. Tell me if any of you guys have seen something like this. And I tried it once, this has got one tube, and it wasn't enough for my hair. However, I'm quite intrigued about this. And for the fact that it has multiple uses, as I said, it could be a daily moisturizer for your scalp. You could use it as a hot oil treatment. You can put it on your hair strands if necessary. So for the hot oil treatment, it says, apply oil evenly through hair. Cover with conditioning cap and let sit for 20 minutes. Now what I find interesting is it doesn't say to heat it up. So, as I showed you, when I put it on my skin and rubbed it in, already it started to melt, right? Due to the heat from my body. It all makes sense now. So I'm assuming it's the same thing when you put it on your hair as a hot oil treatment, you don't necessarily have to heat it up. Last but not least, it says it's good for hair types such as relaxed hair, colour treated hair and medium to thick textured hair. As I said for my hair, I'm yet to test how it goes on my strands, if it actually penetrates, how it works with my hair. And that is it for this review, but you're going to want to see with five hair greases that you're going to need this autumn. To see what these are, click here now.